Good evening, I'm Adam Pinsker. Here are your top stories tonight. Vigo County School Corporation officials are pushing for legislation that cracks down on kids who bring fake guns to school. Officials say they've already seen one or two incidents involving fake guns and students have been back in school for only a month and a half. The district says the fake guns that kids bring into school can look shockingly real. Owen County commissioners approved two downtown festivals, a Christmas celebration and VFW ceremony, while they continue to consider a ban on events at the courthouse lawn. I think it's a little bit about buying some time. You know, these are events that are just going to happen this year until supposedly at the end of the year when, when they'll have the ordinance ready to, to vote on. Commissioners are considering a festival ban after they received several letters describing Spencer Pride's annual festival as inappropriate for children. Pride Festival officials say their event is clean. Commission President Jeff Brothers says they plan to have more information to the public within the coming weeks. The expansion of the Monroe County Convention Center in downtown Bloomington is moving forward again. A joint city-county board met last night to iron out differences, including on-site parking. It, it, it's nice to speculate about, you know, we could run a 24-hour shuttle or whatever, but people are going to expect to park here. And it, it, that's just the reality of the marketplace. City financial advisors estimate it will cost $37 million to fund the expansion and connectors to the existing center and hotel. Funds would come from the county food and beverage tax. Weather forecast for the rest of tonight, mostly cloudy skies, low of 62. And for tomorrow, we'll still see some warm weather on tap. Sunny, high of 86 and 87 for Thursday. Have a great night.